Let's go off to uh, Nashville Southwest Air Cargo and uh, pick up the shipment from James Largo at the uh, Cichlid Shack in Tampa, Arizona. And this is the first, the first uh, big shipment I'm getting from, uh, from James. And needless to say, I am very excited. He said he included the fish I asked for and a few, uh, a few bonus fish. So uh, I'm on my way. So if you recall, I have uh, two tanks uh, set up right now, a couple 55 gallon tanks. The African cichlid tank on the left is pretty much ready for fish, whereas the one on the right has been established and has some stock in it, uh, some stock of value. So I'm gonna quarantine the South American fish, but go ahead and put the, the African cichlids right into the tank that is for African cichlids. So, so that means I, have to, I need a quarantine tank. So I'll take one of these 29 gallon tanks and turn it into a, uh, a QT, a quarantine tank. And, uh, but first I need to make a, uh, a quick run over, over to Pet, Petco and uh, pick up a few supplies. And uh, by the way, if you're at Petco, be sure to uh, always have your, your phone with you or access to the internet because if you show them the internet specials, they will go ahead and honor them at the cash register. They'll punch in the, the sale price. I saved about 10 bucks on, on, on these materials. So I had a, um, a hang on back filter, a marine land that needed servicing. It was uh, starting to run water down the overflows down the middle there. So I went ahead and took advantage of some beneficial bacteria buildup on the media inside of that can of that uh, hang on back filter. And you, you can see here, it's, uh, it's, it's gunked up, and that gunk is, um, is full of what we call beneficial bacteria, bacteria that will help to uh, convert, nit uh, convert ammonia into nitrite, and then nitrite into nitrate. So I pulled out both of, uh, of these cartridges. These are the uh, carbon, and, um, carbon and foam cartridges that are sold specifically for the... Uh, for the Marineland hang on back filter. Normally I would replace those with some cut sponges, which I'll probably do in the future because these uh, cartridges can get expensive. I set up the 29 gallon, I put a background on it. I threw some of those um, uh, some of those underwater gallery stones in there, a plant from Elite Cichlids, a filter from Expert Matic, and a, um, a heater, a cobalt, a cobalt heater, one of those uh, ecotherm heaters. And so, it has a light on it from um, Phoenix, the Barracuda, I think it's called. And then I just dropped that media, pulled right out of the uh, hang on back filter, right into the tank. So it, can, uh, so it can help to convert the ammonia of the fish I'm going to be adding. The water, of course, was treated before I did that. Otherwise, the chlorine in the water would have killed off any bacteria. And I put a little shot of this. I don't know if it'll do much but I figured I'd cover all my bases. I was all out of the uh, Fritz Zyme 7, so I used some of this from Imaginarium that I picked up over at Petco. So this tank was ready to receive fish. Okay, I've arrived. I've arrived at Southwest. Southwest, Southwest Freight. Let's go inside. Let's get these boxes home. This is where, uh, this is where Santa delivers his toys and uh, my car was loaded up with three boxes and I headed home in a hurry because uh, the temperature was dropping fast getting down to about 25 degrees so I didn't want to waste time and have these fish perhaps get too cold. All right so here I am I'm home and uh, ready to open up these boxes. Here's box number one, one of three and uh, James asked, uh, there was, a, there was an order that I placed with a gift certificate that was uh, given to me by my son-in-law for Christmas. And, um, and then James, James threw in a few extras. And uh, <laughs> as you know, he helps out with the channel. And he asked me if I wanted to know what the extras were. And I told him no that uh, he could surprise me. So this is, uh, this is gonna be as much a surprise uh, to me as it is to you. 
So um, he includes instructions on how to acclimate your fish and uh, get them into the tank, a business card, nice little business card, and it looks like a sticker, a real nice sticker of his current emblem. Maybe you can see that there. Pretty nice little uh, sticker. I think that'll be going on my refrigerator. Axe heat packs are still hot. That's good. Holy moly. Six bags in here. Oh my god. A Xerox. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite African cichlids. It says on the bag, that blaze. <laughs> he loves that blaze just like I do. And let's go ahead and get him floated. This is a four inch Nagara, ooh, flame tail, Eureka Red. Oh my God, a Eureka Red Jake, Eureka Red Jake, four and a half inches. Wow, these are big. These fish are a little bit bigger than what I was expecting. And uh, you know, it's, uh, there are some fish providers that meet expectations and there are others that exceed expectations. <laughs> okay, here we have a bicolor. Bicolor 500. It looks like my African cichlid tank is going to be like fully stocked, like immediately. Some extreme in here. Extreme cichlid peewee, 1.5. The peewee extreme. Extreme is, uh, if you're not familiar with extreme, really good food. And what else do we have here? Boy, this is like Christmas. This is a flavescent. Four inch fluorescent. Let's get him floated. Ooh, sunshine. One of my favorite fish. A sunshine. Let's get him in. Okay, box number two. Let's take a look at what's in here. The boxes are in really good shape, which tells me that Southwest, Southwest does a good job in making sure that these uh, these boxes are in fact handled. Fra you know, fragile with care. Uh, a friend of mine used to say that fragile usually meant, you know, you throw it underhand. And so <laughs> but it looks, it looks like they actually uh, did a great job. And uh, holy moly. You know what he included in here? These these here are gift certificates for the cichlid shack that I'm going to be giving, giving away. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a whole bunch of special codes here that are going to be given away to you, the viewers. So that was a handful of gold right there. <clears throat> Hope this gets you off to a good start. Looking forward to working with you. Thanks, James. Okay, we got a breakdown of the fish he sent. And uh, it's amazing, James. A Severum Red Shoulder. A Severum Red Shoulder. This one is going to go into the special uh, quarantine tank. As tempted as I am to put him in over here. A Blicari. Blicari and a bristle nose pleco. Oh my god, a cute little bristle nose pleco. Another red shoulder severum. Holy moly, okay. Oh man, this is a pretty big fish. This is a vieja. A vieja, which is going into the uh, quarantine tank. Another vieja, two viejas. Good size. And we have some extreme flakes. Some extreme flakes. Nice. 
And here's the final box. Amazing. This is a surprise for me as much as it is for you. And I've got a whole mother load here of, uh, of Cichlid Shack stickers, which I'll give to you folks. I'll tell you what, we'll do them on the, uh, at the live stream. At the live stream, we'll give away some of these uh, Cichlid Shack stickers, which are very, very cool. I'll show you close up. Great colors on them. Thank you for those, James. And box number three. Oh my God. I feel like that scene in Jaws, but instead of we're gonna need a bigger boat, I think I'm gonna need a bigger tank. You're gonna need a bigger boat. Jeez, okay, let's see here. The Phoenix. This is a, uh, a special, special fish with an amazing blaze that is a, uh, unique to the cichlid shack. This is one of my favorite all-time fish, a, te a uh, Autopharynx tetrastigma. Autopharynx tetrastigma. James, you're out of control, my friend. An albino, albino strawberry. Albino strawberry. Amazing. Ooh, a deep water. I believe this is the Placidochromus deep water. Very beautiful fish. They can actually put on some good size. Very, very uh, peaceful, actually. Here's some more extreme food. If you're not familiar with extreme, it's a very high quality blend. Available through the uh, through the cichlid shack. And the last, well, no, we got two more bags. A Johnson Eye. Johnson Eye Solo. Oh my God. James must have been watching some of my videos because one of my favorite all time fish was a Johnson Eye Solo. And I figured I'd probably be getting one like in a while, but he says the fins are bananas. <laughs> Okay, last bag, drum roll. An OB peacock, here's Skittles. My Skittles OB. All right, can't wait to see him out of the bag and colored up. So I'm gonna uh, turn the lights out, let these guys relax for about 15, 20 minutes. Let the temperatures match up and then go ahead and uh, put them in the tanks and then tomorrow I'll go ahead and, uh, you know, when the lights come on, I'll go ahead and film them and I'll uh, add that to this video so you get to see them acclimated and comfortable in the tank. Whenever you get a, um, a shipment of fish, fish that have been shipped to you, you know, you hold your breath until the following morning, hoping everybody is okay. Everyone survived the night and was looking pretty good the following morning. Some of them were more shy and hidden away than others. And, uh, but for the most part, they all looked real, real good and active. And there's, uh, there's Skittles back there. This is a, a special line of OBs from the Cichlid Shack. And um, when I fed them, they all, uh, they all took to food and uh, went after it aggressively. And it seemed like everybody got, got in on the feeding. So that's always also another real good indication Here's the uh, John Stoney Solo. Very pretty fish. And uh, love the markings on that fish. Over on the, in the 29, you can see the uh, two red shoulders drifting around along with the, uh, the viejas. One of the viejas just dipped there to the right. Here he comes. And uh, the little, uh, little starry knight was a bit shy hanging out in the uh, plants that I had put in, in the tank, thinking that maybe one or two of the fish might need a little cover. I even found the uh, little plecos, both of them were doing fine. One, one behind the heater and the other one was uh, hiding uh, behind the filter. So 
So overall, I would say this shipment has worked out very, very well. I'm definitely going to need um, more space for these fish. I'm thinking this entire tank could probably go over into a 125 without a problem. And uh, that beautiful uh, flame tail there, the Autopharynx Tetrastigma, one of my all-time favorites, by Color 500. At any rate, the um, yes, definitely these fish can go into a 125. That's probably the long-term plan for them, even though they can live in this 55 for a little while. And uh, also, I've got that 90 coming in. Should be here by the second week of February. Got to set that up. And that's probably where where the um, the red shoulders, the uh, viejas will go into, and maybe have that tank set up for some of the larger South American cichlids. I do miss some of the uh, some of the larger, more aggressive uh, cichlids, as I've mentioned before, like your you know your trouts, your venusus, your hawks, fish like that. So I'll add some of those to the collection. But again, I'm going to need to uh, pick up a larger tank. Probably in the neighborhood of, uh, you know, your one, your 150, 180, 220, somewhere in there. Something like that would fit the space that I have available to me in the garage. And at the same time be able to, uh, it'll be big enough for those kinds of fish. So I hope you enjoyed this video, this update. And I invite you to uh, hit that, hit that uh, bell and that uh, thumbs up or down. And uh, subscribe if you'd like to and if you haven't already. And I hope to uh, see you at the Saturday, 10 a.m. Central Cichlids and Coffee live stream, where we can talk some more about these fish and other plans and directions for the fish room. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. A big shout out to Expert Matic for the filters, to Elite Cichlids, to uh, Underwater Galleries, and of course, an enormous shout out to James Largo at the Cichlid Shack. All right, that's it for me. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope to see you again soon.